Hello there, my purple band eaters, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold. I'm Purple Rodri. In the last episode, we made it to Goldenrod City. But as you can see, today we are back here in Ilix Forest because there are still a couple things we're going to take care of before we continue on. This is one of the suggestions that you guys told me. You told me to come down here back to Ilix Forest and bump into this dude. Let's see what he's doing. He's over there smacking his head into a tree. This must be a real smart fellow if he's doing that. L let's go ahead and talk to him. Let's see what he's going to tell us today. What am I doing? I'm shaking trees using headbutt. It's fun. Here you try it with your Pokemon too. All right, so we are going to be teaching the move Headbutt to one of our Pokemon, and it's going to be Zuko. I think it's a it's a pretty good move, uh, and I think it's going to be a decent addition to Zuko's lineup for now until we can get you know better moves later on. Uh, is it okay to forget the move Leer? Yeah, we're not really going to use Leer that much. Uh, we're getting better and better moves as we train up, so you know we're going to go ahead and do that. So sweet, Zuko learned Headbutt. Uh, headbutt allows us to bump into trees which uh, you guys can see over there, which is actually going to come in handy today in what we are doing. Now that we're done here in Ilex Forest, we're actually going to head back to Azalea Town to follow up on a second suggestion. So I'll meet you guys right back there. Alright, so now that we're back here in Azalea Town, you guys told me to come to this little shack over here where Charcoal Kiln is, and let's go ahead and enter, or this place is actually the Charcoal Kiln, but anyways, we're gonna enter here and talk to this dude, I'm so sorry, I forgot to thank you, this charcoal that I made fire type moves will become more powerful when a Pokemon holds that, we obtained the charcoal, the charcoal's gonna help power up Zuko's moves, so thank you guys for that, it's definitely an item that we wanna add, and it's something that I'm definitely gonna give to Zuko to equip so we can get some more fire power going, now, I've heard a tip that if you bump into the trees behind Kurt's house we can actually find a Pokemon we're looking for a Pokemon that's gonna be a permanent team member so I'll be back with you guys once I find it So there we go, this has had to have been the most highly requested uh, Pokemon by you guys as of yet. So we are going to be adding Heracross to the team today. I'm very excited for this Pokemon. It's a pretty kick butt Pokemon and I can't wait to actually have it in our team. I went ahead and threw out the Supersonic first, it's only level 4, so I, I don't really want to start putting some damage on it because I could probably KO it right now with Velos. Uh, as you guys can also see, Velos uh, learned Wing Attack because I trained it to level 18 and I also taught it U-Turn from the TMs. Okay, let's go ahead and start throwing some Pokeballs at it. Uh, I'm gonna throw out a fastball. We'll see if the fastball can actually catch it. If not, I have a couple Pokeballs and then still some Great Balls that I bought from the shop, which I'm hoping will allow us to catch this thing. Okay, here we go. It, it almost was caught. No, I don't think so. It's confused. So what I'm kind of hoping for is that it weakens itself, you know, thinking ahead of the game there. Uh, I'm gonna start throwing Pokeballs at it. We have five of them to use on this guy. It's gonna be a really, really tough fight is what I'm thinking. Woo! Already popping out. This dude really doesn't want to stay in these. All right, though, it's not out of its confusion that is not good for me it's probably not gonna do uh, very much damage for me I'm gonna go ahead and just keep throwing out supersonics until it hurts itself as much as possible and then hopefully I'll be able to catch it from there I could honestly switch Pokemon which I'm actually considering uh, right now I might u-turn but I think I'm pretty sure the u-turn would end up KOing it so I don't really want to do that it's raising up it's using endure we landed the supersonic on it once again so very nice I'm glad we landed that supersonic all right now let's go ahead and start throwing another pokeball at it let's go please stay in the pokeball everybody a B trick right now if that a B trick works this is gonna be some magic come on oh it worked like a charm that thing works every time I am serious whoever says it's a rumor I don't buy it I am serious that thing works like a charm okay Heracross data was added to the Pokedex. Very, very nice. Heracross is the single horn Pokemon. It is a bug fighting type. The, foul, the powerful Pokemon thrusts its prized horn under its enemies' bellies, then lifts and throws them. Uh, give a nickname to the Heracross? Yeah, let's go ahead and give Heracross a nickname. So I thought this was going to be a pretty clever nickname. I thought it was kind of cool, so I'm going to go ahead and type it out. It is a fighting type, so if you understand this, you will understand why. We're going to call it Sokka. So let's go ahead and hit OK, and welcome to the Team Sokka. It is another uh, name from Avatar The Last Airbender. A lot of you guys actually told me that I should name a Pokemon uh, after that, so it was pretty cool. We're getting a call from Professor Elm. What could it be? Let's check what this old man has to say. Hey, Rodri, this is great news. A Pokemon hatch from that egg. I knew that giving that egg to you, Rodri, was the right thing to do. I just knew it. You should come here and show me what kind of Pokemon it is. No, dude, we're not running all the way back there. Now that at long last we have collected this new Pokemon, gotten ourselves the charcoal, it is time for us to head back to Goldenrod City and take care of some stuff there. So I'll meet you guys right back up there. 
Okay guys, so now that we're back here in Goldenrod City with a new addition to our team, Sokka, we are actually gonna explore around because there are a couple things that you guys told me we should do before we continue any further into the gym. Okay, first of all, let's run over here and there's a little sign that says Bike Shop Goldenrod Branch. The world is a cycling path. Let's go ahead and enter inside of here because hopefully we can get something special. Let's talk to this guy. Sigh, I opened a branch here, but I just can't sell my bicycles. Why is that? Could you ride a bicycle and advertise it for me? Sure thing. Really great. Give me your name and phone number. I'll lend you a new bicycle. Okay, so if we're giving this dude our phone number, we got ourselves a bicycle. Very nice. The bicycle is going to come in very handy. It's actually going to help us go a lot faster. I'm going to go ahead and register it now that we finally got it. And now we should be able to use it anywhere we want. Except inside of places or the shops or gyms. But other than that, we should pretty much be able to use it forever we got ourselves a bicycle now i feel like a cool kid i'm a cool kid now okay next up oh look this this lady is in front of the gym there always seems to be someone in front of it the gym leader whitney went flying by saying i have got to get a radio card we are gonna have to find Whitney. All right, Whitney, where the heck are you? I see a big antenna over there. My guess is that is where we are headed. Hopefully that is the radio station. Let me get off my bicycle and let's read this sign. It says Goldenrod City Radio Tower, a network providing Johto with interesting information. And there's some guy chilling. So this is the radio tower. What do you want, you pest scram? Ooh, it's a Team Rocket member. My guess is they're gonna go in there and try to play some of their tunes. They're angry because their songs haven't been playing. Ooh, a pink-haired girl. Oh, it's Whitney, okay. Hi, my name is Whitney. I heard about the quiz to win a radio card, so I came here to get one, but this quiz is so hard. No worries, baby, I can get it hard. I mean, pass the quiz, pass the hard quiz. Here we go. We have a special quiz campaign. Answer five questions correctly in a row to win a radio card. When you load it into the Pokegear, you will be able to listen to the radio anytime, anywhere. Would you like to try our quiz? You know what, it's Friday, it's fun, it's the weekend. All right, how about you guys try the quiz along with me? Let me know how many questions you get right, and here we go, okay. The first question, can you check the town map with your poke gear? Do -do -do -do. Yep, I'm gonna go against yes, and I'm almost 100% sure it's correct, and it is correct. Okay, the second question, Nidorina can only be female, true? Do -do -do -do. I'm gonna go with yes, it's Nidorina and Nidoran, so I'm, or Nidorino, I'm pretty sure that's good. And okay, here we go. The third question. Kurt, the Pokeball creator, uses apricots as ingredients. Ooh, this is a little bit of a toughie, but I think it is actually no. I'm, if I'm correct, he uses apricorns, not apricots, and we are correct. Okay, the fourth question. It's impossible to use a TM on Magikarp. True, and yes, it is true. I actually do know this one from previous games. Okay, wow, I only have one more question to go. In Professor Oak's popular show, Pokemon Talk, is he on with Marie. For a second, I almost read it like, is he getting it on with Marie? And I was about to say, well, that definitely isn't happening on a radio show because they wouldn't allow it. So I'm going to go ahead and say, no, I don't think he's on his show. And we'll see if we're correct. Bingo, you got it. Okay, congratulations. Here's your prize, a radio card. We can now listen to the radio with the Poke Gear. Very nice. Let me know how you guys did. Did you get them all right too? Because I got pretty lucky there on the last one. I'm not going to lie. That was a pretty good guess. Okay. Wow, you did it! I thought the answer to the third question was surely apricots. Oops, it's time to go back to the gym! See you later, let's chase after her. I like girls with pink hair. I don't know why, they're just so intriguing and magical. They just make me feel special. Oh, okay, 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 time, time for me to calm down there a little bit. All right, next up, we are actually gonna be, watch out, get off your bike in the tunnel. We are actually looking for another special location for Velos this time that you guys told me we should find here in Goldenrod City. Look, there's a little Mary running around. Ooh, can we catch it in our Pokeball? Ah, it's this girl. Hi, Rodri, you were just in time. When you follow this tunnel, you'll see a dress-up shop. That's where your Pokemon can put in accessories to dress up and take pictures. By the way, here's the fashion case. So she just gave us a fashion case. Um, then if I am correct, you guys did tell me that if we give Velos a haircut, it'll make it more happy. And if she just gave us a fashion case, I'm guessing we are probably heading uh, in the right direction. So let's head downstairs here and see what's going on. Ooh, there's a couple trainers. I'm going to go ahead and put our Sokka up in front then so we can start getting some XP before we battle some of these guys. So let's go ahead and do this.
Okay, alrighty then. We're also getting a call from our mother. Let's go ahead and answer that and see what's going on. Hey, mama, the waffle's done yet. Hello. Oh, hi, Roger. I like how she says hello when she's the one calling us. I found a useful item while shopping, so I bought it with your money, but I asked the delivery man to take it to you, so you should stop by the nearest Pokemon. Okay, we already knew that one. I already talked to a couple of those dudes. The guy gave me a super potion. We'll have to stop by there and see what exactly it is. So, okay, let's check what this is. Your Pokemon are so very charming. If you dress up your Pokemon here, uh, I don't think this is the correct place. Remember, we are looking for a place where we can actually get a haircut, so I don't think this is it. Welcome to the Moro Photo Studio. I don't think this is it either. We might be headed in the right direction. I thought it was here, but I'm not sure. Is this a trainer? Nope. Let's go ahead and talk to this person. Welcome to the Pokemon Salon. Okay, this must be it. I'm the younger and less expensive of the two haircut brothers. I'll spruce up your Pokemon for 300. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do it then. So how about it? Yeah, sure thing. Uh, does this only work like one time? And how, or how does this work? Like, can you get a haircut once and then you can get another one? Or I don't know exactly. I just know it raises your happiness. There we go. All done. Velos looks a little happier. I have a feeling that it won't go well next time. Let me close for the day. Ooh, I guess that sounds like it. There's also another battle coming up here. So let's go ahead and do this really quick. Alright, Nito, can we exit out of this place? Oh, we have another fight. Okay, here we go. Okay, thank goodness we finally defeated that super nerd, and of course, we always happen to get poisoned. Every time I send Suko out, it just all of a sudden manages to get poisoned, but you guys did tell me that if we make it to the Pokemon Center on time, uh, you know, he will only drop to like 1 HP, and you can't get much lower than that. Let's go ahead and heal up then, and we'll see. Ooh, hey, how are you doing? Today's Friday, you know, we got Saturday night ahead of us. You want to go to the beach, Nurse Joy? You know, let's go for a ride. I got a nice little bicycle now, you know, I'll pop you in the front, you know, let me look at, th whoa, okay, okay, uh, le yeah, let's just go ahead and, um, heal up my Pokemon, let's get out of here before we start saying some crazy stuff to that good looking pink haired lady across the counter, okay, guys, so thank you so much for watching today's episode, uh, let me know if you have some tips, I do want to train Sokka off screen, I don't know what level exactly I should train it to, I know that, uh, the next gym is, like, normal from what you guys told me, um, so it's, you know, pretty much gonna be Sokka's turn to shine if we can actually get him some moves. Um, I also don't know if he's going to learn some moves uh, now or, you know, once we start getting him up there or if he's going to have to learn a TM or, uh, you know, what sorts of crazy stuff. Just let me know what tips you guys have. Today we knocked out a lot of those, you know, very helpful stuff and I know they're going to come in very handy in the future. So thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we'll proceed on to Goldenrod City's Pokemon Gym. Fight the leader Whitney, the incredible pretty girl. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye. Ooh, I like pretty girls.